I'm gonna tell you how to get the most out of the books you are reading. If you're watching this, I presume you're big into self-improvement, so I presume you're reading self-improvement books. So here's what I did to actually grasp, understand, conceptualize, and then implement the knowledge I have learned in my reading to everyday life. So, number one, stop thinking of reading books just to like get this moral high ground over other normy people, right? Because if you just skim through books and just think, and if you just like, oh, I'm gonna read like so many pages, all oh, right, you, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to internalize the knowledge and you, there's no way that you're gonna be able to deeply process it and then apply it to your real life. In the last but a book I read, which I've mentioned a few times, Stolen Focus, he said that when we uh, read things online and we read articles, we, we, we've developed this habit of skimming through things and just scrolling and scrolling because there's so much information out there. Um, you compare it to a time in the past when people used to read newspapers, that the only thing that they had to read all day besides books was the daily newspaper. So they could have time to read it slowly. And scientists did some research and they found that the slower you read things, the more you can internalize it. So stop reading books, stop skimming through them, right? In the book that I've actually got these lessons from, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is a great book, by the way, and I'm gonna do a series on the principles of that book. Um, he mentions that you should read each chapter twice before going to the next chapter and also underscore the most important ideas in the book. So then say if you find anything interesting in the book, underline the piece of information that you would like to retain. And then when you're skipping back through the chapters to re-go over it, you can save yourself a lot of time and just go over the lines of the book that are actually relevant to your life and the things that you can apply to your life. But like I was saying about the slowly reading, yeah, you have to you have to read things slowly. And then as you're reading it, stop and just let your brain process it. And then also think how you can, how you can use these things in your every day-to-day -day life. Because let's be honest, we're not, we're not, we're not doing self-improvement. We don't want to grow. We don't want to just, we don't want to just find these things out and then just like bury it. We actually, Self-improvement isn't just reading for the sake of reading, it's reading to implement implement these things into your life, to like live a better life. So you must do these things, you must do these things to, to make the, these books actually worth it. Now finally, the most important rule that I implement in my reading is that I have to be passionate, I have to be actually interested in the book and the concepts within the book. I read a book referred to me by a YouTuber called Joe Delaney a few years ago, and it was called A, Short Hi a, Sh a Brief History of Almost Anything. And I really liked this YouTuber and I thought I'd read the book. So I started reading it on holiday and I just ended up reading it for the sake of reading it because he said to read it. And it was just the most boring, like honestly, I, it probably is an interesting book, but for me, I just didn't, I just, I stopped reading it after about 50 pages because I just thought this is the most boring load of rubbish I've ever, I've ever read. Um, but anyway, I read uh, Stolen Focus in like less than a month and I'm getting through how to win friends and influence people now. Um, and it's not even a task, it's not even a challenge. Like I love, love reading now because I, I pick the books that I want to read. So you must have a deep, deep, deep burning desire to understand the knowledge. So if you're not into self-improvement, then don't read self-improvement books because you're not gonna be able to get into these flow states. And uh, that was another thing I read in the book of Stolen Focus, that there's, a, there's been a 75% increase in ADHD over the last 20 years. That, that, that's not an exact figure, but anyway, there's been an exponential rise in ADHD in children. And one of the concepts of the rise in AD, one of the theories of the rise in ADHD is that we we are, we're now teaching children just things that they don't want to learn and when people aren't interested in things they they just get distracted easier easier uh, and when you actually like are interested in something and and I'm interested in self improvement you can follow along and you get into these flow states and maybe kids aren't biologically predisposed to getting ADHD maybe they just don't care about the subject just like if you put me in a history lesson now maybe not history, like a geography lesson, lesson, lesson now, 
I'd switch off. As good as my focus is, I'd switch off because I don't, I don't care. I, I don't care about geography. Um, so yeah, make sure, make sure you are interested in the book at hand. And that is everything. So I'm gonna actually do a series on how to win friends and influence people, um, mainly to, so I can actually integrate the knowledge because they say that you should have a duck on your table, right? Like a rubber duck. And when you, when you uh, learn something new, you should try and explain it to the duck as if the duck was a human. And basically what this means is that when you can explain something to a higher degree and it makes sense, that means that you actually understand it. So I want to just speak to the camera as if I'm speaking to a rubber duck and explain the concepts that I've learned so I can actually understand the knowledge and just to confirm that I've understood the chapter and then also you can benefit off it as well. So if you want to watch that, subscribe and peace out boys.